Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Tobra. And today we're going to be watching X-Men Days of Future Past, uh, The Road Cut. So, um, we just watched Wolverine. Mm -hmm. We got a big after credit leave off scene yeah. working together with Magneto and Professor X sort of thing. This is the next in the series. There's There is some continuity. I don't, actually the less I say I feel like the better. Um, okay. But there is continuity starting from first class for the next few movies involving this movie. Gotcha. Um, I'm not going to say you know who's in it or whatever. Mm. I have seen this movie. I've never seen this cut of the movie, which I believe has about 10 or 15 minutes added to it. And it has been a minute since I've seen this movie. Never watched them all together like this, so I'm really excited. You obviously have never seen this movie. Nope. Um, so I'm really excited. So I just want to get into it. As always, full-length reaction is going to be up at the Patreon next week's X-Men reaction. Um, X-Men Apocalypse is also going to be up at the Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. And let's just get into X-Men Days of Future Past, The Road Cut. I'm hoping like we get a bit of Wolverine in here. Yeah, because Wolverine was a little lacking last, last, uh, in, in first last, class. Like, yeah, <laughs> Not last movie. Last movie was his movie. movie. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, looks like That's we're... That's not really the New York City we know. We're kind of... A world of war. Suffering. Loss. On both sides. Both sides. And the humans who dared to help them. Hmm. Interesting. Fighting an enemy we cannot defeat. It's brutal. This is not just... This is like... But who? So, who exactly are we fighting? Are we fighting the people? Because he said an enemy we cannot hope to defeat. What does that mean? Also, everybody tell us which X Men are in these things. Because I always like hearing the cool, like, oh, that's this guy from the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many species before us. <laughs> that's cool. Interesting. I'm also pretty sure this was directed by Brian Singer, who was the director of the original two X-Men. So it's like oh, a coming back okay, to, cool. you know, with the opening, yeah. everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. It kind of gave me, the opening kind of gave me, um, what do you call it, vibes? Uh, Terminator, almost. A little bit, yeah. Right? Like that sort of like, what could happen. What it looks like, yeah. Yeah. So this is like Dune, bro. <laughs> I love mutant powers. Interesting. Sentinels. So like robot thingies or something? Sentinels, that's what they said. Colossus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes, you recognize some of these people, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, those like, those look, those are strong. Yeah, those look tough Ooh, to nice. beat. It doesn't feel like human sort Ooh, of like tech. Nice. Like, what the heck is that? I like the portals. Bobby, Iceman. Remember oh, the kid? That's okay. him. <laughs> It like has like scales or something. Yeah, like yeah, it like adapts. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they said yeah. it was a hard enemy to defeat. Ooh, whoa. Dang. Dude, he just took his arm off. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Watch out! Oh! Yeah. But what is she doing exactly? I don't know. It's... Jeez. 
I do love the design where it almost seems bio. It's like almost biological. Yeah, it's not like um, it's just not tech. Does it feel as much like robot no. tech? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be some sort of like. <laughs> Is it going to be like some sort of like time thing? Oh, is that a <laughs> storm? storm? <laughs> oh, hey! Professor X? Interesting, he has like, like a... Like floating chair. Yeah. He elevated to god tier. <laughs> ah, I was going to say like, where, yeah. <laughs> so... So what was that? So I don't know. It exactly. feels like a something Take happening and reversed the like. To be honest, I don't ex actually exactly know. Warpath spots them, and I send Bishop back to warn us of the attack before it. Happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blink scouts the next site, and well, then we leave before they ever know we were there. She sends Bishop back in time, though just his mm -hmm. consciousness into his younger self, his younger body, to to yeah. warn people. This might just work, child. The Sentinel program was originally conceived by Dr. Bolivar Trust. What if we send him back more? World leading weapons designers. Now we saw that name COVID. when Logan got recruited at the airport. Mutants, but they will have to transform herself into anyone. Okay, that's what yes. it looks like. That's the scales that yeah. you were talking about. We met when we were children, grew up together. I tried to help her. But only succeeded in driving her away. She found Trask. <laughs> and killed him. Okay. But killing Trask did not have the outcome she expected. It only persuaded the government. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Usually yeah. doesn't. It gave them the key they needed to create weapons. Oh, okay. This is why they look so much like it, which is so cool. In less than 50 years, the machines that have destroyed so many of our So it is the, the... You're talking about going back decades. You have the most powerful brain in the world, Professor. But the mind can only stretch so far before it snaps. What about... <laughs> what about uh, if you have... It's a way of snapping back. Yeah. What if someone can heal as fast as they ripped apart? It's a risk. Yeah, I'm getting that. Duh, it's the fate yeah. of the world, bro. Or at least mutant kind. Yeah, look at where, where we're at right now. You've got a decision to make. You can keep sending Bishop back in time over and over again to warn you. Until one day he doesn't make it. Or it, what is it, just a cycle, right? Like, that'd be miserable. Yeah. A second chance. A better chance for everyone. You'll need to go to my house and find me. Convince me of... All of this. Won't you be able to just read my mind? I didn't have my powers in 1973. Okay. Um, from the first one, maybe not 10 years, it's a different decade. It was, we were in the 60s. But if he's gonna stop Mystique... You'll need me as well. What? After Mystique <laughs> left Charles, she came with me, and I set her on the dangerous path. Basically, Pass. your body will go to sleep while your mind travels back in time. So, my question though is... Past. She is going back there to stop Mystique from assassinating Trask, right? Yes. But wouldn't Mystique at that age have already parted f ways with, um, with, with everything? Yeah. With, with the um, X -Men. Professor sure. X. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But didn't Professor X have his powers at that time? Is he, he said he did. Well, if I need you, then the rocky. <laughs> Think peaceful thoughts. Oh. Peaceful thoughts. You have any good is news? he capable of peaceful yeah. thoughts? <laughs> I don't think Logan's <laughs> had a peaceful thought in his entire life. <laughs> it didn't know it better. We will now. It's interesting how even him saying that, like, I set her on a darker path. Yeah. The fact that he even understands that or something. Is yes, it's so cool seeing Magneto change. Did we, did we make it? <laughs> his face looking at the lava lamp. Wait, Logan, do you remember what you were doing at this time? Like... Yep. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Hey, what's going on? Quick! Where are you? Headdress. <laughs> what's going on? 
What's going on? He's supposed to be Garden Boss's daughter, not screw you. Slip with him many times, but Jimmy. that wasn't me, that was the old me. They're calling him Jimmy. Twenty seconds ago. Really? Interesting. Yeah. And what happened to your clothes? Well, yeah. um Also, it's in his contract. He's gotta take off his shirt every movie. I mean, this dude's this ripped, like <laughs> Are you seriously? Yeah. Look, trust me, I know how these things play out. Oh, because you're from the future. No. Because of these. <laughs> Damn it. That affects him more too, right? A little bit? I think less. Well, no, but he can regenerate, but it doesn't like block. Now. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he doesn't have like an iron skull. No. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't like ricochet. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we can't support a weapon that targets our own citizens. If these mutants, as you describe, are already living among us, that's fully. We haven't had an incident in over 10 years. After what happened in Cuba? Yeah, 10 years, exactly. We have very real enemies out there. The Russians, the Chinese. The human species, Homo sapiens, was followed by the immediate extinction of their less evolved kin. Well, now... Okay, bro, you read like two lines of it. Yeah, about some what college dude like <laughs> No, that was that was Professor X. I, I know, but like it's it's one person if That's you think true. about it. And That's true. And it's in the context that he was at college, right? It'll be too late. And you will have lost two wars in one lifetime. <laughs> I do get it though, and I like it because it's a very real But your sensible program? Gonna fly. I like that the for once like the government isn't portrayed like as yes. like, completely like evil or something. They're, yes. like, they're actually like, you know. Uh. <laughs> it's like a mutant uh regiment, I feel like. Yeah. What is all this? Lab reports, blood tests. It's all getting packed up and shit out. Where is it going? Same place they are. What are you doing with those? So I'm gonna make the ride a little smoother. I'm transferring you to a private facility where we can run a few more tests. Which is a little messed up. They're gonna like sedate them or something. Basically kidnap them. Striker. Striker? <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him. Ooh! Vampire? Oh! oh interesting. Yeah. Dude, I love seeing the mutant powers. That's not my name. Ooh. I have that. I know. Because she's He's never killed. Come on, let's go. He's able to kind of control that a lot better. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he, she's going after Trask. Whoa, dude. I think it's really cool seeing a super young uh, striker. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so he said he wouldn't have his powers. Mm -hmm. So does that mean it's possible that, that um, when he got shot? Um, I don't know. I mean, clearly things have happened in the last 10 years. He started the school. And now but it's... nothing's... Uh, yeah, what happened to the school? The school's been shut for years. Why? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Hank. Hank McCoy, I look after the house now. You're a beast? <laughs> look at you. I'm not gonna get you a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the professor? There's no professor here. You're pretty strong for a scrawny kid. <laughs> <laughs> sure there's no little beast in there? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. He obviously knows. <laughs> Closed. You need to leave. You and me are gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just not right now. <clears throat> oh wait, because remember he was Beast in the last movie. Yeah, but that's interesting that he can change Ooh. now. Wait, what? He looks slightly familiar. Get off the bloody chandelier. 
Okay, well, he's, he's, he's going through some stuff. Cause, <laughs> you know, that hair. Oh, goodness. This I was sent here for you. Well, tell them whether it was they sent you that I'm busy. Uh, uh, let no. me tell you really quick. The <laughs> who sent me was you. What? About 50 years from now. Please <laughs> believe us. Bro, like, come on, dude. You're the guys with superpowers. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Who are you? I told you. You see your hair. No, you're watching me. I know you, Charles. Hmm. We've been friends for years. Voices in your head. And it wasn't until you were 12 that you realized all the voices were in everyone else's head. <laughs> I never told anyone that. Not yet. Not yet. To say that I choose to believe you, that I choose to help you. Raven won't listen to me. Now her heart and soul belong to someone else now. That's why we need the two of yes. you. Yes. That's why we're going to need Magneto too. Yep. <laughs> Eric, could you give me that one more time? Please? Bro. <laughs> you know, I think I do remember you now. Yeah. Tall and angry fellow with contentious hair. We came to you a long time ago. <laughs> And I'm going to say to you what you said to us then. <laughs> Fuck off. We all have to die sometime. Dang, man. So you're just going to accept it? Like, come on, bro. I'm get broken. He retreated into himself. I, I wanted to help do something, so I decided to serve. It looks like he's the uh... same formula that helps me control my yeah. meditation. I take just enough to keep myself balanced, but I tried easing him back, but he just couldn't bear the pain. And it, it reminds me of like, um, you know, like uh, a drinking problem. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You know, And I mean, I think there's a there's an allegory with like heroin, obviously, with the needle and the the. Yeah, it's like a sort of like addiction to kind of. I tell you this, you don't know Eric. That man is a monster, a murderer. You think you can convince Raven to change? I mean, we have to. <laughs> but what makes you think you can change him? I feel like... Because you and Eric sent me back here together. Yeah. I feel like that's proof enough. <laughs> the room they were holding him in was built during the Second World War when there was a shortage of steel. So the found... Okay, so they captured <laughs> him. In the Pentagon. What have you forgot to mention? JFK. He killed... <laughs> what else explains a bullet miraculously curving through the air? <laughs> oh, interesting. I like how they mix it in with real history. Yeah, yeah I, I always like that sort of like yes. uh, storytelling. It, it's interesting. That um, picture is interesting. I feel like it, yeah. Yeah, it, it is. is something. <laughs> Whoa. I never realized how reminiscent this of uh, is of of like Mystique in uh, in the second X Men movie and stuff like that. Uh, just the way that she comes in, the stuff she says, it's just it, it's cool seeing that continuity of character. Yeah. Oh, you should stay in your form. This is dangerous. Yes. Because there's no need to change out of it, yes. really, right? Oh, that's uh, yeah. uh, Angel. Do -do. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't He's crying. Anything, but... Is something wrong, sir? No. It's nothing. Would you mind taping up my itinerary? I don't want to miss anything. Wait, who is this? Uh -huh. Maximoff. Maximoff. You recognize that name? Yeah. Wait. Isn't that, um, what's her name? Wanda? Yeah. Who's your brother? Wait. Go upstairs and bug your sister. Brother, so is this gonna be what's his face? The. Um... <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. it's the guy. And that's the actor they use oh. in Wanda. But I, that girl, I'm assuming, is Wanda because yeah, they are. It's the brother, right? And the sister. I also had some time to kill, so I went through your runway agreement, so I from out of town. Are you FBI? <laughs> no, you're not cops. Hey, what's with this Gibson Gumption's place? Got some. At least put it back. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, 
He's fascinating. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> powers, what powers? What are you talking about? Is there something strange here? Nothing anybody would believe if you told me. That is true. Prison break? That's illegal, you know. Uh, uh, get to break into the Pentagon. Yeah, he's in, bro. It's cool when it's disgusting. <laughs> it's cooler when it's metal. Yeah, it's a lot cooler when it's metal. <laughs> Someone just uh hey. hopped on in. <laughs> Whoa, dude, look at his fit. <laughs> and the Pink Floyd t-shirt. So, I mean, how is it exactly? It's just the guy's watching TV. <laughs> but I mean, Magneto can't go super speed, really, right? So he can break out. This is more intense than the prison that they had in X Men 2, honestly. Yeah, I, I really like this. this yeah, isn't it awesome? All the guards and stuff, too. A little smile. Oh, mind the glass, Magneto. He told you. Yeah. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out, bro. You're like looking right into it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the feeling that Quicksilver doesn't even know the extent of his powers. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wait, he's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I love seeing the different ways they do speed powers. Yeah. Come on! It's usually only three letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's the faster method. You know, my mom was knew a guy who could do that. He is, uh, he's their dad in the comics. Oh! Uh, like, ooh! Oh, dang, I feel less. The last person in the world I expected to see today. Believe me. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to. No killing. No helmet. I couldn't disobey you even if I wanted. Okay, don't tell <laughs> him anything. I need your word, Eric. I mean, that's reasonable. Yeah. Oh, we will shoot! Please, I'm Charles. I can't. Hands up! <laughs> yeah, we need to... Wait, hold up. You don't know he's gonna <laughs> kill them. Shoot. Speed. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> With the speed effects on his face. Bro, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is the coolest sort of like, oh, version of it. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I put one like right there, <laughs> like just to make it. <laughs> he punches himself. <laughs> uh. See, he got his respect from Logan. Turn it for me. Okay, Peter. Take it slow. Where did they dig you? Bro, do you know who you're talking to, bro? Like, I like how Charles can't help himself but give like the teacherly advice. Yeah. Though. You and Charles from the future. <laughs> How did you lose them? The treatment for my spine affects my DNA. Dry your eyes, Eric. It doesn't justify what you've done. You've no idea what I've done. I know that you took the things that mean the most to me. Well, maybe you should have fought harder for them. 
I, that is literally my favorite scene of the movie. That it's really so cool. well done. And I like seeing that Charles makes... It's not always Eric's the bad guy. Like, Charles has made mistakes in his life as well. No, for sure. They'll render your arsenals useless, your armies powerless, and your nations defenseless. I mean, Trask, I really feel like you're taking that a bit far. but I, I, I wonder if he really believes it. No, he probably does. I think he but... does, which is why he's a fascinating villain. At the gates of the citadel. <laughs> <laughs> the aeronautic capabilities of a Harrier jet. <gasps> Harriers! So that means they can levitate. Yeah. A minute of thermoceramic ammunition. But size, power, what makes the Sentinel so special is the ability to target the mutant X gene. But that's, that goes so far. Unless there's a mutant. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> my machines don't make mistakes. You're caught. You're caught. Yeah, you but, yeah, but stall. But she doesn't know that. No, don't shoot it. I assure you. Don't shoot it. <laughs> Ooh. The transition oh, kind of cool, huh? where it's like the dude. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. He recognizes him. The worst visual. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Oh, shoot. But it's all on live TV! Oh, shoot, bro. Yeah. I mean, this because not... it's, it's actual memories, too, that he's dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. The bullet. Freak, but this is not helping us at all. Ah. This is not helping us. Uh. Oh no. Eric. But once again, the worst visual. I mean, except that mutants are doing good too. You want acid? Somebody gave you really bad <laughs> acid. Yeah. I mean, it's the seventies, bro. If that works, it works. You know what I'm saying? And pe people are just gonna be freaked out. Like, yes. what the heck? I mean, who wouldn't be? I don't even blame. I don't even blame. That's not like anti-mutant. I just, I'd be freaked out if this whole event happened. No, but of course it's like the amount of power. I love that audio cue. <laughs> Gosh, that's probably gonna. Eesh. Oh my gosh. This went terribly. Oh yeah. Oh my Dude. gosh, bro. It's all like. It's all being documented. Yes. Oh my god. Somebody help him. Jeez. 
Good for Kitty. What is it? What happened to you? I'm afraid. Go on. What? We have to get out of here. Yeah, it all went to hell. Yeah, like, that that was not smart by Eric at all. Like, he's always trying to... He was also implicated in Kennedy's assassination. Bro, that's the worst look ever. We don't know what that thing is, sir. Actually, we really don't know what any of them are. Yes. Oh, see, yes, look at this. It's perfect for him. He has the power to control metal. Last I checked, that's what most of your weapons were made of. You're telling me these mutants are out in the world. On our best defense are these giant metal robots, many of the mutants. I have eight prototypes ready to go. They're built out of a space age polymer, not an ounce of metal on the And he already said they have like polymer bullets or something like that. Shoot. I want to make a demonstration. I want the world to know that we can protect them. What do you need to get these things operation? I already gave that number to Congress. Unfortunately, they elected to shut me down. Yeah, because you're... Just a bit more to turn them on. Whatever you need. Oh. Oh. That's horrible. Damn. What the? My man using his brain. <laughs> Shoot, they already have DNA. Honestly, this is why like Eric's a little bit yeah. dangerous because like he he's very stubborn of in the course. way he thinks, and so he will do stuff by himself. I do like the feeling though. Both of these guys are incredibly young. No, yeah, yeah. Trask is the enemy. Killing one man isn't enough. It never was for you. The, the writing is so good. Like that's just an amazing scene. I mean, it is weird, though, because I feel like Mystique is more in the middle, but weirdly, I think if you were, I agree with Eric. It's like, if you're going to kill, yeah, killing one person doesn't do anything. It, yeah, it's weird because, like, How do you know? as these go, this comes back. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like you. Ha we're going to have, we got to. I need your help, Charles. Not like this, I need you. You <laughs> can't find me, man. Without your powers. The amount of willpower. Yes. Like it's kind of crazy. Admirable. That's cool because it's like the way, <laughs> the fact that he has to help him, and the fact yeah like, we're going full circle, yeah. right? This creature is extraordinary. Her genes could hold the key to mutation itself. I need more. That's Lovely. Okay, good. He needs more. Blood. I need brain tissue. Spinal fluid. Bone marrow. Oh, okay. lovely. You want to torture Mystique to death. Well, that's good, actually, because that shows that we, we still... He, they can't just use her blood. Not yet. In 70 years, they could. Yeah, but that's seven years. You really hate mutants, Dr. Duncan. On the contrary, I'd rather admire them. The things they can do against the ultimate enemy. Extinction. <laughs> I believe our new friends are going to help us usher in a new era, Bill. When was the last time you were down here? The last time I went looking for students? A lifetime ago. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to my session. Oh, dude, the nostalgia. Raven's wounded. She won't be moving fast. That's an awesome shot. These are muscles I haven't stretched in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, be careful, buddy. <laughs> it's the coolest visuals ever. We gotta help him out a little bit, yeah. Whoa, that's an awesome shot. It's not the machinery, is it? <laughs> I can't do this. My mind, yes, you can. It won't take it to just a little rust. There's a mistake coming down here. There's a mistake freeing Eric. This whole thing has been one bloody mistake. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, it was supposed to be you. But I was the only one who could physically make the trip. But I do know that a long time ago, actually, a long time from now, <laughs> I was your most helpless student. Show me what I can be. I don't know how to do that for you. You're right. I don't. But I know someone in life. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? So this is what becomes of us. Eric was right. And you still believe? Just because someone stumbles, loses their way, it doesn't mean they're lost forever. <laughs> the man I want. I open my mind. So much. Pain. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. So cool, man. And this is coming from you. Yes. In the future, bro. Come on. Find what you were looking for. Up and right on time. Hours back off. What, what did I miss? He's like a completely <laughs> different person. Whoa. <laughs> Magneto has always been the coolest thing ever. But he is really, he's it, really cool. And with like more effects, you can just see the glory of it kind of shine. What is he gonna do, break it? <laughs> oh, wait. No. Nah. What? You're, he's gonna control it? Well, he's putting metal into all of it. Yeah, so he's gonna be able to control it. <laughs> Even the. Oh my god. <laughs> What? I don't know any of this. Wait, what? Wait. Try to tap into her power so they can take ours. Take all ours. You really just want to go after We tried. Keep going to get help. Can we let somebody to help you? Your side is not going to hurt, but you're going to be really jealous. <laughs> I need you to come home. I know what I need to do. No. No, you don't no, understand, actually. Raven. If you kill Trask, you'll be creating countless more just like The girl I grew up with wasn't capable of killing. She was good, fair, full of compassion. Such a cool, like... Compassion. Just not for Trask. He's murdered. Then you don't have compassion. Yeah, because... Everybody has compassion for the people they love. She's not letting me in. I'm barely holding on. I'm not strong enough yet. But killing him will not bring them back. It will set you on a path from which there is no return. That's a cool. Yes. I didn't know he could do that. Until there is nothing left. But we can stop it right now. You've been changed at all, Charles. Like I said, I know exactly what I have to do. The fact that he is willing to do that, though. Yeah. Get some rest, Charles. We'll track her in the morning and find out exactly where she's going. None of those things can give you cancer. I mean, I've well, done some I mean... toxicology tests in the lab. First of all, I don't think he would care <laughs> with the amount of suffering that he's been to. <laughs> he let the man enjoy his cigar. I was wondering if you could tell me. In the future, do I make it? No. <laughs> of course, Logan doesn't follow any of the rules. <laughs> no, you're dead. The will make his announcement. He'll be joined by Secretary of Defense Laird and has even sought the help of renowned scientist Bolivar Trask. Freaking, uh, what's his name? Magneto's gonna be there too, and he's gonna. <laughs> They're gonna think that, like, oh yeah, we can control the whatever, and then it's like, oh, nope. <laughs> what a legend! 
recognize those? It's weird because I find both of their, both versions of them to be just as epic, you know? Ooh. And just in different ways. Dude, what are you thinking? Like, what? Glad. I'm sure your heart feels. <laughs> the coin. <laughs> this is so cool. like a metal to float everyone go yeah. okay 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 it hasn't adjusted yet book it oh, though shoot, watch out We have to go, there's nothing we can do, and like we can't. It's so cool that they brought her back, too. Jeez, it's it's interesting the op the opposites of the two, right? Like how they're yeah. mirrored, but they're like completely different because Eric's in this case, he's actually preparing to fight. Oh, wait, this is Mystique, because the link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, they already kind of know where she's going to probably be, right? Because of um, Trask being at the... Uh, Possibly. Yeah, yeah, come on, dude. This has got to be. Yeah, so you know, all of them are probably yes. going to be there. Yes, you may. These two are with me. Go ahead. I didn't know he was a Jedi. <laughs> oh, dude, I love those moments. <laughs> They're go they gotta be there. Yeah. My fellow Americans, today we I love that they have Nixon. <laughs> this is cool. You. In the immortal words of Robert Oppenheimer. Oh, lovely. The world will never be the same again. <laughs> oh no. These things are huge. He looks good. Can I help you? My man just levitated down and you're like, <laughs> what is he gonna do? What is his plan? Oh my god. <laughs> you know, we've upgraded from submarines. Look at the stage. Go, go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's gosh. another problem, guys. Yeah, this is the big problem. Yeah, bro. He's in charge. Uh. 
because I don't think it matters about Raven at this point. Because if, well, if she kills Trask, yeah, but if Charles is about to kill more than just Trask, uh, Eric, like, yeah. I don't even think he's trying to kill people. No. I mean, I he's not he... caring, but... Dude, this is epic. Look at that, bro. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Too nice. Watch out! Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hold up. Don't get it all relaxed now. There was a lot of them. Oh, shoot, he didn't block all of it. Ugh. Oh, watch out. Darn it. Yeah, guys, we gotta... Come on. We have to, like, we have we to buy enough at the time. same time, maybe, or something. No, I, I mean, know. I just, I just don't know at this point. It's like, there's too many. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, nice. that was sick. He can't do much against it without yeah. the metal, man. Because the metal is what allowed him to, like... Really do damage. Yeah. Nice, oh, nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> For once, he can't stop us! Shoot. Oh, no, you just trap us. So horrible. Yeah. So much for being a survivor. Shoot. How are you, how do you get out of that? How do you even survive from that? Uh oh, they're <laughs> gonna figure out. One of them is in here. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, he's got the stupid gonna... plastic gun. He's gonna pull the whole the whole bunker. Oof. Dude, he's so strong. You built these weapons to destroy us. Why? Because you are afraid of our gifts. Oh no. She has always feared that which is different. And anyone who stands in our way will suffer the same fate as these men you see before you. Display of your power. Instead, I give you a glimpse of the devastation my race can unleash upon yours. And that they haven't, that they've held back. That's true, but I mean, I don't think people are going to think about that. You have lived in the shadows in shame and fear for too long. Come out. Join me. Fight together nice. in the brotherhood of our country. It's a prison to stand down. I can't stand down. Who will make a statement? Kill me. Fine. But spare other ones. <laughs> Too good for Mystique. Wow. Oh. Ah, oh, but that's you mad or I mean that's definitely gonna hurt him. Dang. Okay, good. I've been trying to 
trying to control you ever since the day we met. And look where that's got us. Everything that happens now is in your hands. Hmm. <laughs> Hurry. This is so beautiful, man. That's, that's what you have, like at a certain level, you can't control who people are going to be. So you have to. What about Logan? <laughs> hey. Does <laughs> it almost feel like a dream, literally, yes. like what? Storm. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? I, I what mean, do you mean, bro? Where else would I be? <laughs> Whoa. Easy, <Isabel>. pal. <laughs> Scott? Good to see you, Scott. He's like, what is what happening? The heck? What is wrong with you? Okay. Is everything all right? Yeah. Everything's better than all right, actually. <laughs> it's good to see you, Charles. It's good to see everyone. Well, you and I have a lot of catching up to. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's how he... I'll take him from here. For the future is never truly set. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Mm, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. Thoughts? Well, that was really good. Wasn't that really awesome? Yeah, I, that was really cool. It it's just the perfect way, and I didn't see the rogue cut, so that makes it even cooler to be honest. Um, it's the perfect way of you know it's kind of taking care of because like first class was a little bit like all right, let's forget about last stand, however much you may like that, and like, let's do this, you know. Mm -hmm. And this was like the perfect marriage of the two, where it's not like, oh, this is disrespectful. It also reboots the entire series, because now we don't know what happens. And I just thought that was really cool. Yeah, no, no, it was cool. I like the fact that, you know, it, did, it made it feel like those movies that happened, you know, all of them had their kind of place and did have an effect on the series and logan will never forget and professor x will never forget mm -hmm. which i feel like also made like it would be kind of sad if they forgot but the fact that those two still remember i think kind of makes it okay well not just i'm not just in the present time i just mean uh this mo movie as a whole like throughout the movie you know we were getting kind of glimpses of the previous movies even if they weren't exactly like um you know, even if those uh, the first three movies or whatever aren't exactly like um, perfectly fit into the timeline in mm -hmm. a way, it's like mm -hmm. you know they were able to still show that they those movies had um, you know at least some sort of effect on yeah, the actual you know events of the show and things like that, which is cool. It's not it's it's kind of um, a good sort of combination i feel of all the the plot lines and stories in the past movies yeah um and it kind of like yeah it kind of respects them and says like hey you know even though they may not 
you know, completely work or something's maybe different, we're still going to like acknowledge that. It's it's just so well done. Yeah. Um what did you think of of uh like Quicksilver just just everything. I mean, uh, oh, okay. the Quicksilver scene is I so I think cool. yeah, Quicksilver this is definitely my like I really like this like just the um the way that they kind of interpreted the the speed the you know the the sort of like um that superpower you know of just going really fast yeah, yeah, yeah. the they way that to, they kind of like showed it was really cool they had to use like the red camera too i think which is like a super expensive super high frame per second like okay. they got it for that whole it's I, I forget exactly the behind the scenes stuff but it's just absolutely fascinating because it's like the super expensive red camera it's like i was like 10 grand or something insane um Dang. to get the proper frame rates to do the scene yeah no no it was it was really awesome just that the way that they um kind of um yeah like showed everything that happens in slow motion you know i mean just the way that certain things move the ripples and things like that it really feels like yeah you're seeing it slow but the effect on everything is as if he is going really fast yeah you know? yeah, yeah, yeah which i thought was really really cool um and then i like I don't know what it was, but I, I, his outfit was really, really sick. A lot oh, of Quicksilver? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His outfit with the, the silver, like, actually, like, Honestly, silver. this entire movie may have the coolest outfits. I think Logan's got the coolest. Yeah. I mean, the 70s oh, is sure. cool, but then his, like, futuristic thing and, like, yeah. Magneto's whole red suit. Yeah. That's sick. Like, honestly, this may have some of the coolest costumes in the whole X-Men series. I think for sure, <laughs> like... They really upped the sort of like costumes on the on the heroes this time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then you know it's always cool to see um, both Magnetos and both um, Charles. Charles, right? It's because I think it, is this the first time we've seen like both versions in the same oh, sort of movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of cool, you know. Yeah, and it's, it's cool to so see them cool. like side by side and to try to like and to see how well the young actors did. I feel yeah. like, actually. Yeah, you know, and and kind of portraying like they it really did feel like you know they were still the same person, but they were definitely different. They were younger, and they had you know different thoughts going through their head. And you know, I feel like um, Charles was, um, you know, he was definitely. You could tell that he wasn't as yeah he wasn't as mature. But you could still see that little flair of him in there, you know, that sort of yeah. like mature side that wanted to kind of like lead or like help and guide, you know, but he was still very, you know, a little more, I don't know, quippy and stuff like that. And he wasn't as um, calm, I should say. Yeah. And I feel like Magneto is closer to his to his older self. Mm -hmm. But in his younger self, he's just a little more like epic. <laughs> well not epic but he's a little more like um he's a little stronger in his emotions like yeah. he he goes to one side a lot harder than where he is it's now. the youth right where yeah. it's like he's he he comes up with an idea and then he's like all right we're gonna and he goes boldly into the idea yeah, yeah. which it, it does fit his sort of personality a lot logan is just logan <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Logan is always Logan. He's just cool, and he's always going to be cool, and he's always going to be a little grumpy, and he's always going to smoke cigars, and that, that makes him awesome. Yeah, I like that. That's the one cool thing is that, like, no matter how many years kind of go past, like, he will always kind of be just yeah, even Logan. Yeah, if, even if he didn't transfer his consciousness, I mean, he kind of be the same. Yeah, I'd be like, you know, I mean, there's nothing really different. He just got a little more info on his on the future he's kind of just like you know I, I i just feel like this movie it was like people liked first class and they're like eh, we had a few problems and this movie was like oh okay we will solve all of them like mm -hmm. even you were saying like that's why i was i was trying so hard not to say to me because you're like eh, i mean i liked first class i don't know if you said that on camera but you're like i kind of want to see more logan and i'm like no okay. no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and it's like and same with kind of, I'm sure some people were like, uh, I don't really like the new casting, or it's like a little disrespectful, course, it's just kind of straight rebooting it. And then it's like, oh, we're going to answer all of those problems in one movie with the OG director back, the OG cast back. Like, it's really, this is like a really well done movie where you're doing your own thing and you're being original, but also being respectful to the fans. And I really appreciate even yeah. just building in a plot device, which is genius story writing, whoever came up with that. 
to kind of reboot the channel. It's like, I'm cool with that. But the fact that they did it well and they did it within the series without just kind of being like, ah, screw it. Yeah, like actually throw it away. Yeah, it's cool. I just really like that. Yeah, no, I feel like this movie, um, honestly, and no, no hate on like the other movies and stuff like that, but I feel like um, the other movies um, all had, you know, their flaws and things like that. But it was almost kind of like, you know, this one was um, the sort of, the pinnacle it was kind of like after those movies they kind of like learned or or it was kind of like more like practice or something yeah, like that yeah, and yeah. then this one was where they were like okay we kind of see like how to do this legit you know yeah. and how to yeah. really you know make a, a really good you know solid x-men movie um, yeah it was really good even I, the villain i loved the villain they did they did him so well because it's like we've seen this like oh humans hate mutants yeah but just the way that the actor peter dinklage pulled it off and delivered the line it's like he's very believable it's not like a it's not like a striker where it's like wow you t- horrible human and yeah, he is yeah. horrible but the way that it's acted and done and portrayed kind of really well makes him feel very human and very real and kind of walks that line even though it is like yeah he's horrible he's you know torturing mutants and doing studies on them and- well i actually think that the one thing that this does actually is make him well not less human but with striker and his son i think it was that yeah. was a mutant right yeah um they did do go into his backstory that made it show like hey you know striker actually does care about people you know and he he wants you know what's best for his son and that's why he is doing these things right mm-hmm. it wasn't like um what's his name the other the other i forget what the other villain's name was that was like remember he he had a son that just also had like charles's powers kind of like remember no that was striker was that striker a different striker no because, the guy whose son was striker no wait but wasn't okay but who was who was um who is that one guy, remember, that um, had the son with uh, Angel? Oh, oh. Was that oh, someone else? He was like a politician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, never mind. Then then Stryker was a little more... Um, if that wasn't Stryker, then Stryker, Stryker, Stryker was, was a little more... was the one more. who had the guy with the mind control. Oh, And he was, was the him? villain in X-Men uh, Origins with Wolverine. Remember who shoots Wolverine in the head for like literally no reason? Just so he forgets. Oh, yeah, creates, yeah, yeah, like, that Deadpool thing. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. then, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Striker then is a little more um, just straight evil. Uh, but the interesting about this villain, I feel, is that um, while they didn't actually go into it, there was, like, maybe hints of, like, there were deeper reasons as to why he was doing yeah. this. But they didn't... I, I like that they didn't go into it. Like, it wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just was really... T- to me, that that's, like, the sign of a good movie and a good actor, where it's, it, it, like, just like you're saying, yeah. there's this feeling of more. We don't have the time. We don't need to spend the time. Yeah. But it just... It feels like, oh, you're not just here to move the plot along or to have bad things happen. You're uh-huh, a uh-huh. real character that has kind of motives and depth, and, and that's really cool. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I really did enjoy it. Um, you know, I, at least I do enjoy those types of, like, villains a lot. Um, and then, you know, honestly, just, like, seeing the effects kind of, like, like starting to get, like, you know, really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, honestly. Like, that, you know, that whole, the whole fights, like, um, especially the in the um, in the future or whatever, right? Like, the cool different, like, powers that they were using and stuff. Uh, like, especially the portals. Yeah. Um, and this is the unique ways that they were trying to, you know, I feel effectively use their powers yeah. together. It was really cool. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so I mean, this movie is a blast. Uh, oh, yeah. Obviously, Full Length Reaction is going to be up at the Patreon. Next week's reaction, which is going to be X-Men Apocalypse, is also going to be up on our Patreon. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, get a little bit of early access, obviously, you don't have to. Really, just thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us and watching. Um, and as always, if you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like, and subscribe. We'd love to have you. We've got lots of movie reactions that we have done, lots more that we're going to do. And all that being said, hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.